Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. EA surprised us all yesterday by releasing a card design that literally could mean anything, but really brings a lot of excitement because it's something that people have been asking to see for years in this game, and it might just be one of the coolest things that EA has ever done. Now, we're yet to see how it's actually going to pan out inside of this game, but we're going to talk about the ways that it could. Maybe it's an SPC, maybe it's an evolution related to the Ballon d'Or card design that was leaked but also we have to talk about what's happening in the here and now today on a wednesday are we getting that party bag sbc the hero pack goes away today what's going to replace it and today's the last day of season one i have a couple of tips i want to share with you guys as we get towards season two that might help you start off season two on a really good note we're going to talk about that and of course Today's the most popular investing day of the week. Every single week, we look at Wednesdays as a buy point heading into Division Rivals rewards. We're going to talk through those technicalities today in the video as well for investing opportunities. Will the market go up? It's already really low. It looks like it should. We'll talk about it. If you guys are excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's content, which starts actually with objectives because the first piece of content we had was an hour early yesterday, and it was the Rush Points Objectives Re refreshed and it was here again every single week the same 70,000 rush points to get the same decent packs really easy to get done right now if you do the dribbling maestro now this goes away really soon it goes away at content drop today but if you play the dribbling maestros mode you can get 10 to 12,000 uh, rush points every single game that's how I was doing it yesterday playing with friends and then checking off all of the blocks on the side really really easy rush points there for some decent packs I use that fodder to craft the icon pack, which if you want to see that, it's on the second channel. I'll just leave you to wonder what we got there to go check out that video. Now let's talk about the rest of the content because it actually started with content being delayed and not just because of the times changing in Europe, but actually because there was a problem with the game. So evolutions have been broken. SBCs have now been broken as well, but it's fixed. It didn't take very long. We've seen this before, actually, where SBCs have somehow been broken, and then all of a sudden they're fixed again. EA tweeted about it yesterday. They said, we're having an issue posting the SBCs today, and then they fixed it a couple of hours later. So about three and a half hours after the content drop, we got the player SBC that we knew was coming because EA posted a picture of it on Instagram, and that was the Lukiba SBC. Guys, this is a whopping 18,000 coins. All it takes is an 82 rated squad and a team of the week player and one French player. Very easy to get done and honestly a card that I think is a must do. Not because it's the most meta card in the game. I got some stick on Twitter for tweeting out how this is uh, this card plus the Evo I think is a must do just because we have a season full of France cards that is upcoming. We have a one nation Evo that's probably or a one nation friendly mode that's Really good to play right now and probably going to keep coming back because it's already come out twice. I think this is a good card to stash away in your club. It's 18,000 coins. He's got to anticipate. He's got a roll plus plus. He's got a plus in the other center back rolls as well. I just think for this price, you can't pass it up. It's one of those SBCs for an 82 squad on an inform. Why wouldn't you pass it up? And then for the Evo, if you do want to use him, I think this is a really nice Evo. Goes up to 83 pace, 86 defending, and 84 physical. Again, not the most meta card, but for the price... And for how easy it is to upgrade, I think that is a really, really good option there. I'm personally holding off on this Trailblazers Turbo Evo just in case I pack Anthony Robinson. He's my first choice to Evo. If I pack him, I'll put him in. But if I don't, and if there's nothing crazy in Team 2 that I would want to evolve through this Evo as well, that might be a shout. Saving it for Team 2, if you haven't done it already, then I will put this Luke Evo card in it if there's nothing else I've gotten since then. We also had an upgrade pack. Every single Tuesday, we get some sort of upgrade pack as well. This time, it was the 83 triple, which I'm just noticing sing is going to be repeatable again today. And guess what? It requires more fodder that a lot of us probably need. 84 rated. You need three of them. It's an 83 rated squad. So put in three 84s, maybe an 83 or two, and then the rest 82s in the team should be pretty easy to complete. But once again, fodder prices, especially on the 84s, 3.8K on 84 rated is, look at this, after this SBC came out, boom, they're going up. It refreshes today. We might have the party bag today. Fodder is looking great. But again, like we mentioned earlier, if we just talk about fodder for a second, I think if you want to sell some of this fodder, the decent time to do that would be today after the content drop before Division Rivals rewards, because I do believe we'll have a bit of a dip. I don't think it's going to be a crazy drop, but it's always supply that comes in with Rivals rewards, and that might make some of those prices drop. So that pack's not great value, but it's cheap enough that we're probably all going to send it just because of the what if. 
that could be there. Now, the biggest news from yesterday is what we really got to talk about, guys. It's nothing that's in the game yet, but it's the promise of what it is to come and the fact that it's been something the community has been asking for for literally years. After the content drop yesterday, which there really wasn't a content drop again, but you guys get it, this card was released as a design that was added to the code, an official Ballon d'Or card design. And my mind goes two different ways when I see this, but guys, once again, I can remember thinking back two, three years ago when Benzema won the Ballon d'Or or other Modric won the Ballon d'Or. I was like, man, wouldn't it be sick if there was some sort of card in the game that would kind of commemorate that player that we would be like, oh, that could be either an SBC or something like that. And here we go. We actually have the card design. This is incredible. The card design itself looks unbelievable. I, I want whatever this is, however it's released, I want that card design because that is absolutely insane. So there's no other news around this right now. All we have is the card design looking sick and ideas of what it could be. Now, I have two ideas. Let me get into those. The first one is SBCs, right? You would think, oh, two players, one Ballon d'Or, Rodri and Bonmati. So they would obviously be in line for the running for an SBC, right? Potentially, if we get a Rodri SBC, would it be crazy high rated? I don't think so. I mean, 91 rated is already pretty high. This card is very usable. I have not used him. A lot of people have said that he's very good in game. He's got Tiki Taka Plus, the four star weak foot. Look at his play styles power shot, long ball pass, Tiki Taka Plus, obviously, bruiser, press proven, and aerial. And he's got deep lying playmaker plus plus as a center defensive mid if they were to give his card like plus ones and twos but then boost his pace up to like 65 or sorry 75 or 77 i think that would be a really nice sbc that a lot of people would be interested in doing and it probably wouldn't be that cheap so it would make some of our high rated fodder investments go up that would just be a sick card and obviously you think about the dynamic image of somebody on this card like rodri like bonmati holding the the ball you know, oh, the, whole, the trophy, that would be so sick. The potential for this to just look aesthetically incredible is really, really high. Now, for Bonmati as well, you got to think about this too. She might be the more meta of the SBCs if she were to get a card. Again, it's all ifs right now. Until we get actual leaks of this coming out, it's kind of an if situation. This card could be really insane. Think about the... Uh, Barcelona links we have right now. We had the Rafinha SBC. We've got a Puteas player of the month upcoming and a Lewandowski player of the month upcoming. Add this into the mix. A lot of Barca links could be going crazy. And yet again, another SBC that could demand some higher rated fodder. It wouldn't be cheap. This card's 150k on the market. Her Trailblazers is 2 million coins. It would not be a cheap SBC, even if it was just like a plus one. So really curious to see if EA are going to go the SBC route here. I think it'd be the more expensive route, but we could get some really crazy cards. These cards, they're way too far down the line. Like, I don't think EA is going to put out a Ballon d'Or SBC during Team of the Year. This is just crazy juiced stats for the hype, in my opinion. But that's what the cards could potentially look like if we get them as SBCs or somehow released in this game. The second thing... I could see this being released as is you might remember something that we had last year in FC 24 with evolutions where you could put a team of the year card design on any player that you wanted to. Of course, EA this year has gone a lot more into the cosmetic side of evolutions where you can just pick a card design like we had for the purple and for the red Evo designs. You can put them on the card and those cards just become that design, right? Well, remember the team of the year shine last year where we had the ability to put like four play style pluses looks crazy on cards. I'm forgetting about how that looked in FC24 at the end of the year. But you could put a team of the year shine Evo on anybody that you wanted to. Imagine EA drop this card design as an evolution and say, choose your Ballon d'Or. Put the Ballon d'Or card design on any player that you think could have won Ballon d'Or or whatever, right? Just to, you know, that sort of thing. I could totally see them doing that as well. So that's my thinking it's either going to be an SBC or it's going to be a cosmetic Evo and honestly I'm fine either way I'm totally fine either way the SBC would be sick of course for the sick dynamic images and the car design and for just the commemorative aspect of it but then this design as an Evo would also be really cool so I think it's one of those two things and I would just say watch out for the leaks because I'm sure if there's going to be SBCs like we normally see, like with the Lukiba, with the Robbie Keane that's leaked right now, Rafinha was leaked. SBC cards almost always get leaked, so I would expect to see some news about that if that was to happen. So that's definitely the craziest thing. I mean, I'm going to go in here and check and make sure that it's not like added in here already. Uh, it's not. Okay, so we don't have the card design in the game. So really the question also is, when is that going to come out? But that's enough conversation there. Those are my thought process. I just think that's so sick because, wow. 
Perfect time to drop it as well with Ballon d'Or, of course, just releasing. So we'll see what happens with that. Let's talk about content today on Wednesday. Before we get into the market side of things, I think this is actually important to the market today as well. Guys, we talked about in yesterday's video the leaks about a party bag SBC coming soon. And we have not seen the pack code added yet. That's one thing I do want to make known. Foot Scoreboard has not tweeted out and said there is this pack guaranteeing a road to the knockouts or a total rush added to the code. I think we need to see that before we really know that it's coming today on Wednesday for sure. But today would be probably the most likely day for this to drop if it is coming as a part of this SBC content today, right? The Hero SBC is going away. The Icon SBC refreshes tomorrow, not today. So this would be the most likely candidate for an SBC to replace it for an upgrade pack today on a Wednesday. If this drops today, what do we prepare for? It's got to be pretty cheap, guys. I mean, let's be honest. As we've talked about, there's a lot of Total Rush players and a lot of Road to the Knockout players that are like discard priced or pretty darn near discard. So I don't think this SBC would be super expensive. I mean, you kind of take a look at the Lukiba SBC. It's 18,000 coins with an 82 in the team of the week. Maybe they would price it somewhat like this Angel Gomez, an 81 with a team of the week and an 82. Maybe they throw an 83 rated squad in there as well. That's kind of the way they've been going about it, right? The low rated squads and just more of them instead of like, oh, just do 185 squad and you get the same price as an 81, two and a three, but they just make you do three squads instead of one. That's, I think it's going to be probably 50 to 60K, hopefully less than that, because the cheaper it is, the better, because this SBC is not going to have good pack weight. It's not going to be good, but it'll be cheap and fun to do and worth the try because of the what if with these cards. One thing I will say is if you're watching the market today, if there's panic selling on some rush cards or on some road to the knockouts, especially that are top tier players like... I don't know, let's say, you know, Mbappe, he's not going to get packed like at all today. But if we look at rush cards that are over like 500k, like Shuameni, or even Trent Alexander-Arnold, or De Young, or Verts, or Tomori, if any of these cards are dropping a lot in the lead up to this, when the pack codes may be tweeted out or something, please buy those because those cards are not going to get packed like at all today. And I would imagine they would bounce back after the panic. So that's one thing to watch out. That's probably the biggest thing to watch out for today. Also, we have some guaranteed content coming today because EA posted on their website about it. You maybe saw some leaked tweets yesterday from Foot Sheriff and some other guys posting about some FC Pro or some objectives that were given like a 100k pack and stuff. This is what it is. It's the beginning of FC Pro content and they literally say here on this website that the rewards go live from October 30th. The group rewards a jumbo rare players pack. There's going to be some XP which um, actually this stuff is going live on November 2nd and 3rd. So this will be XP that we can get for the new season most likely. Prime Gold Players Pack, Prime Gold Players Pack, a premium gold pack. And then also for linking accounts, you get a mega pack and a draft token. So this is actually a nice little objective that will hopefully be dropping today or will be dropping today as it says here in the game. Nothing that we could actually claim today, but just stuff to be on the lookout for and maybe hints at the fact that we're going to have the FC Pro Live promo again later in November. Because remember that promo last year? It wasn't really the best, but it was interesting for live cards and a lot of prices moved. So that is something to kind of look forward to based off that leak. That should be a part of content today on Wednesday as well. Also, Wednesday means new team of the week. We have some leaked players. Conte, Lacroix, Jordi Alba, Inigo Martinez, Openda, Luca Bacchio, and uh, Ricardo Pepe is getting a team of the week. That's pretty cool. Interesting looking team of the week. I mean, some interesting cards could be in there depending on the upgrades that they give. Nothing super crazy, but a Conte card would link with all the French vibes. A Lacroix card would link with all the French vibes uh, going around the game at the moment with Sissoko being a card that a lot of people are trying to link. So that's something for the league team of the week today that I would keep an eye on as well. Now, let's talk about other content related to the market. As you see here, I've sold a few cards. I made coins on one Gerard. The other one, I basically broke even on. I made coins on this Essien like not even that much. I bought this one for $6.96. The other Essien I'm trying to sell at the moment that I bought for $7.40. Just trying to sell them for a tax loss, guys. The market is really flat. If you look at the index 100, sure, there's been a few fluctuations today. On the low tier, you still have some of those cards going up for the One Nation objective. Sell those, please. Uh, before Rivals Rewards, they will get packed. If you look at your club and you can sell an Areola or maybe it was uh, Konate's 3.5k. He was like under 2,000 coins. You've had a couple of cards that have rebounded well. Sesco is up because of the links uh, to new SBC Lukiba. The Martinez is up. Verts is up. Some of these rare cards have rebounded a little bit. But most of all, like most of the market is still very, very low. 
And I think that creates a really interesting opportunity for us today because Wednesdays are always the days where we look at the market and say, oh, it's time to invest because people get their rivals rewards. And I think that's still gonna be a play this week. I really do. And like we looked at every week, it's the cards that people are buying for teams that they need to upgrade to in their teams. Lower budget cards. Even a guy like this Martinelli is a guy that rises every single week. He's even cheaper now. Sure, a lot of people probably have coins where they're above this value of a card in their team, but still for 43,000 coins and a very popular and pacey prem winger, he could be a card that goes up 5K today. And if you're on a lower budget, this might be a decent card for you in that regard. But if you're gonna invest it all today, I would stick to the out of packs, total rush, road to the knockouts, team of the week type cards. And then along with that, icons and heroes. And what I would tell you to look at mostly is cards that have dropped a lot overall. Like Loftus Cheek, he was 200 and he was, uh, he was way more than that. He was 300,000 coins on Saturday. Bro is now 180, right? Or maybe it's somebody from Total Rush who, you know, show many because of Sissoko. Still a really rare card though. Still a card that people might want to go and buy. He was 700K, went down to 530. He was even at one point yesterday, I think he was 580, spiked up to 560. On Monday, he did have that spike up to 580. That's what it was. But this is a really rare card. They could go up 50,000 coins tomorrow after rewards just because he's rare and he can play center back and people would maybe want to use him there, right? Or just a rare card. People are going to go into rivals to go and buy. So I think you focus on the out of packs and the rare cards still. And I think you also put a focus on the icons and the heroes and just think about what are people going to be buying to link in their teams right now with the meta cards that people are getting through SBCs, objectives, and that they're wanting to build out their teams with. And I think that you don't have to worry too much about the market rising this week because it's risen pretty much every single week. Now, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, there's maybe a little bit of a worry, just a little bit of a worry for the market this week because of the potential new season. I think that's the only caveat this week that is new, that is different, that is interesting. If they put a paid season pass option in season number two, which we're not sure about yet, we're still awaiting leaks or any sort of news around that. If there is a paid season, and if there's a coin option for the paid season, that could actually hurt the market if the rewards in the paid season are a lot better than the free one. Again, it may not happen yet. It may not happen till season three because that's when it happened in Madden. So I think EA like to try things out in different games that they uh, run and it may not happen till season three in FC 25 as well. But if there is a paid season pass and there's a coin option there, I think that could hurt the market. But for honestly right now, I think what I would do is treat the market like a normal Wednesday that is buying the out of packs cards in forms and icons before the content drop or before the division rivals rewards drop. And if you want to invest in trailblazers cards, which I think would be a great investment. If you don't want to buy before rewards and you want to buy during these cards are hype, man. These cards are very hype. A lot of people are using them. I would look at guys like Robinson at even Duran for a low budget. If Duran goes down, he may not drop a ton, but like, let's say he drops like low 20s like 22 23 maybe 25,000 coins is as low he gets as he gets this card is going to be so used because of power shot plus for low budget players that's a great investment there cole palmer gabriel bastoni would be two of my favorites yorente as well he just gets used a ton even though he seems overpriced no play style plus yorente is just him right even this hem card for a budget player if she goes back down into the low 60s she's actually gone up in price i think that could be a good investment after the supply hits during reward so definitely keep a watch on these cards because every single week from the uh out of packs cards like total rush total rush team two we've seen cards that have done very very well out of packs and they've risen nicely i know we had the market crash this week so that did hurt some of the rises on some of these cards that they were starting to have but I think this week with Trailblazers brings another opportunity to invest in these cards for out of packs, even though we have a team two of this promo that is upcoming. So that's kind of the investing for the market. I'm getting some of my coins around right now, like taking some of these break evens and taking some of these losses because on Wednesdays, we usually do see a market drop. Again, the buy time for anything that you want to buy, whether it's heroes, icons, out of packs, informs, I think what you're looking at is any time between the content drop and division rivals rewards. I think it's sometime in that range. I don't know how much the market's going to drop today. Again, since it's already down so much you may not see as big of a crash today you know a lot of people have sold off and they're going to be looking to buy back after rewards i think after content today i would look at these prices if they're down a lot more or even a like 10 percent drop on some cards i think that's enough for me to get in on a price and say hey i'm gonna buy this card and get in before rivals so it can go up afterwards so 
that's kind of the market conversation that I wanted to have there. Also, what pertains to the new season today that we really need to look out for is new rewards. As EA mentioned, as we've mentioned, but just to bring it up again, EA said that they want to focus their time on creating exciting rewards, not trying to balance across 33 different categories, which would have been when we had last year with the three different rewards we could choose from, tradable, untradable, or mixed. Um, and they say that they want to bring more rivals rewards refreshes. So we're looking for tomorrow morning with rivals and really today if we have new packs added to the code a whole bunch of packs or you know just new things that look like division rivals or foot champs reward changes if those are happening that could increase maybe some of the potential hype and also impact the market a bit um for these rewards here i mean hey maybe that guaranteed rush this is a shout just a quick one maybe this pack right here guaranteed rush or road to the knockouts player that could be a weekend league reward pack it could ea could be already giving us some players from promos in rewards i could see them doing that this year i know not, not a lot of people have said that but that's potential opportunity we'll see we'll see but watch out for pack code added to really make it maybe additional bit of hype for the rivals rewards that we would be chasing next week as we get this new season. The last thing I want to say is, as of course, a lot of you guys will be doing playing foot champs qualifiers. This is big, right? Because foot champs qualifiers last year would reset at the division rivals rewards timeframe. So if you, let's say you were two and two and you had one game left to play of champs playoffs this year, last year, you would end up getting reset and you'd go back to zero and zero starting your champs playoffs again if you had unfinished games played in your champs playoffs at the time of rivals rewards so here's my advice to you guys either try to qualify before or wait until after if you have time on either side of that wait until after means you would have no worries about the reset you'd be good to go if you go beforehand one thing you could do is you could qualify easy or let's say you're in champs playoffs Today on Wednesday, and you're trying these games out, a really good reason to play today is definitely this. It, let's say you're one in three, and it's not looking good. Or if you get your third loss, and you can't um, go on to get qualified, I don't think it automatically quits you out. If you were sat here, or maybe if you're 0-2, and you're like, nah, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to sit here. It might be a play because if you're 0 and 2 and it resets you back to zero, that actually might be a help. Or if you're one in three and it resets you back to zero, that actually might be a help. So that's one thing to kind of think through with these. You might be able to get a little two for one opportunity if you time it right, if you're in that certain situation. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. And today, guys, I'm going to be watching the market really, really close. I've only picked up one card so far. It's Bremer, uh, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, I might hold on to this card because 153k, he might not go lower than that today. That seems low enough to me where it's like, yeah, he's 165 or so at the moment. And um, yeah, if he goes to 153, I'd probably buy some more. So that's a sort of drop. That'd be like a 10% drop, right? That'd be the sort of drop that I'd be looking at on this card to potentially pick him up for a rise. So if he drops back down, I'll probably pick a few more up of him. But other than that, I'm watching out of pack special cards, heroes, icons and i'm ready to make some coins tomorrow because the coin total has just been kind of floating in the same spot especially after the losses that we had early in the week it's just been floating there and i'm ready for it to change and start going up so that's enough yapping from me guys but that's a big video of a lot of stuff that's upcoming this week in this game let me know what you guys think about that ballon d'or card design i just think this is so sick and i want to see ea do it right and hopefully they spice up the life of things today on a Wednesday as well. We still have the Robbie Keane SBC that's out there. I don't know when the on this day will actually be the day that he's going to be dropped. But we still have that SBC that's lingering too. It seems like a promo Friday one to me. But we'll have to see you guys. If you enjoyed this one, drop thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel once again to see our icon pull and our daily updates over there. And I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link's down below in the description. Catch you there. Peace.